and welcome back to another episode of Jason's Game Room, the only podcast here on YouTube that talks about everything gaming, from board games to CCGs to dice games to video games. You listened to my POG episode. Yes, you did. Look at you all happy now. If it has anything to do with the world of gaming, it's going to be on this show, and you're going to want to keep tuning in to see what I'm on about next. Now, as the title implies, I want to talk about the world of CCGs and how a lot of players have just been complete dicks over the years. And I'm going to give examples of things I've experienced personally, and along the way, I will instruct you on how to not do those things, because you have to understand, ever since the CCG craze started in 93, 94, and a lot of people got into it, because this was a type of game that anybody can play, people got serious about CCGs. Even playing with your friends was serious, but you kind of had a code of respect where you try not to be an asshole, even with your friends, or especially if you went to tournaments and played uh, amateur or semi-professionally, because you didn't want to be that guy that was looked at as the biggest dick on the planet walking into a game, whether it's at your friend's house, your house, or a tournament hall. And one of the main paradigms of people being a dick was arrogance. Now, I'm going to give you a, sh a little story here to start this. And this goes back to the mid to late 90s when I played the Star Trek CCG and Magic to a lesser extent with a group of friends in high school. And we had one friend in particular, and Josh, if you somehow listen to this podcast, I'm sorry, brother, but it's funny now. And remember, as we all agreed on at one point, you did it to yourself. So my friend Josh, he was pretty heavy into the game. I helped him get further into it as some expansions came out because he was unsure about, number one, the gameplay, and number two, the amount of people playing. But we, we put together a small group, and we had a lot of fun. Anyways, he started becoming very arrogant and overconfident going into playing games. And we never played in tournaments at that point. We were playing at school, lunch hour, my house, his house. We had game tournaments of CCG. And to, it got to the point where after he would assemble his Q's Tent side deck, he would always whip out the same Q's Tent side deck no matter what other draw deck he was playing. And he'd have that air of arrogance about him, especially with the cards it contained. And he'd always do the same moves over and over, play the same cards, and always wrap up the game at the same time, providing I didn't play my board deck or my heavily juiced Federation deck the one or two times. And it got to the point where we didn't always want to play after that because, oh, Josh is going to whip out his Q's tent and he's got that stupid grin on his face and it wasn't as fun. And I apologize to him again for bringing this up more than 20 years later, but I've seen this happen time and again where a lot of players, and I've seen this at the odd tournament and, and being a spectator, where you see that one or two player out of the whole group that has that same smirk and that same arrogance, and you know they've kept their deck the same, and they do the same things, and they always have that look on your face. And as a CCG player that's been playing multiple games since their inception, it's very irritating to sit down at a table and see that smirk on someone's face, whether or not it's your friend. Because the core, the core of any person playing a CCG First and foremost, you want to have fun. I never started playing because, hey, I want to dump money into a money pit, or hey, I'm going to go play and win all the time. No, nobody started out like that. We all wanted to have fun. And watching how fun some of the interactions were when Magic came out, because Magic came out in 93, and I didn't start playing CCGs until 94 when the Star Trek CCG came out, but just seeing the interactions between some of my friends that were already into magic, it was priceless because they're having fun and they laughed. One person won, one person lost, nobody cared. And then as more CCGs came out and tournaments crept up and exploded, you had more and more people playing and more and more people say, hey, I want to go to a tournament and have fun at a tournament. Maybe I'll make a new friend on the way. But there was always that one guy with that stupid, arrogant smirk who did the same shit, game in, game out, and... You know, it's not fun for the other players. And 
sorry to say, once again, Josh was one of the first people that I experienced that from. And there was a second guy in high school. His name was Justin. He was, I would say, a bigger dick at one point for reasons I'm not going to get into on today's show. But he, he had that arrogance a couple times we played. And later on, when I attended the odd tournament or started interacting with other players across North America via the Internet that was also becoming bigger late 90s, you, you started seeing more and more of these players that were absolute dicks. I remember joining a news group and a chat room on Yahoo, uh, 99, 2000, 2001 in that area, and I met some players from around the world, and a lot of them were really nice. Uh, I met a few nice, really cool American players who you'd think would have the biggest uh, ego problems because they're American, because of the stereotype, but they're actually really nice people, and we traded deck strategies. And then there is that one guy in our group, again, and forgive me for saying this, but like Josh, who, when we talked in the chat room or we started doing the, vo the early voice chat, always had that arrogance in his voice, and he would, he would uh, make us feel down about our deck strategies and the cards in our, in our decks. And, oh, that's, that's what you're playing with? That's your deck? Well, I have a deck that's bigger than that. Mine has all the best cards in it. Why would you put that in there? That card? That card's for losers. There's always one. And this was further amplified going to tournaments. And another example I'm going to give you of someone being an absolute dick in the world of CCGs, and this has happened to me, and I've heard it happen to a lot of other players who experience it once. Everybody that plays CCGs in a tournament will experience this at least once, possibly twice, or more. But once for sure is you have that one kid or one person that sits down and he throws his hand up in the air and yells judge every time you play a card to get it verified because he thinks that there's some giant conspiracy even before you start playing that the, the, everything's rooted against him and he's going to lose the tournament in the first round. And I had a player like that who was throwing his hands up. Oh, judge, can you check this card? Judge, I think that might be illegal. Uh, Judge, does he have too many cards in his hand? I can't deal with that kind of player. And I told the guy at the time, I said, dude, you're going to keep doing that? You should walk away. And if you don't walk away and you keep doing that, I'll forfeit just because I don't want to hear your effing voice and seeing your hand go up. I'm willing to walk out of here with probably one of the best decks in the tournament just because I can't deal with your petty shit. It's as simple as that. And after that, he settled down. But you do see them in games. Uh, I have a couple friends that played in some small CCGs, Friday Night Magics, and there's always one that does that. Whereas a lot of players in tournaments will remain quiet unless they're announcing actions or moves. There are some players that chit-chat, which is fine. And then you get the assholes that have to point out everything, raise their hands, and... If you're like me and you have experience with tournaments, you'll know that a lot of those videos you see on YouTube of people almost getting into fistfights in tournaments is something that is a real possibility every time you do go to a tournament. Hell, even if you play with your friends, you can get to that. But at least if you're beating up your friends, it's fun because you all had a good time. But some of these assholes at tournaments, and yeah, I'm swearing a lot in this episode, but I can't help it because, you know, i got to be true to myself. You just get sometimes a few of those players in one tournament out of the whole pool of players and they just ruin the experience for everybody. And I talked about this in a previous episode. If you're new to tournaments and you start making your way through them, don't turn into that dick player. Because every tournament is a learning experience. You're there to learn, have fun, and make friends. But unfortunately, there's one of those dick players in every crowd and every group, even in your group of friends, there might be one. Might not be a complete dick, but you know he's got that smirk or that grin that's going to start driving you crazy at some point. And, you know, I might have had a different perspective on it many, many years ago when I first started playing because up until Josh, sorry bro, I never really had a dick player in a group. I played with a smaller group of people and everybody was cool, but it does happen. And now when you see more and more videos being made at tournaments of complete assholes almost getting themselves in fist fights and or ejected because they have to be arrogant, overconfident, and be complete pricks towards everyone else. It's disappointing because it ruins the whole point of playing a CCG, and that is to have fun. And if you can't have fun 
doing something that you love doing. If you have to go to a tournament and it's always turning into a shout fest or a fist fight, what is the point anymore, I ask you? Have we gotten that petty and that ridiculous that we have to turn something that was created for fun into something that we just kind of dread doing? Now, I understand tournaments have prizes, they have cash prizes, they have rankings if they're sanctioned, but at the same time, you have to have fun. When I play a game, especially CCGs, I have fun. Even losing over the years, I've lost a lot of games. But it was still fun, especially when I played with my group of friends. I would lose sometimes and lose so badly, I would laugh my head off. Because it was preposterous, but it was hilarious. And to mention another friend, Chris, and I might have mentioned this story before where Josh got a little overconfident and Chris played an auto-destruct with nothing to lose because he was already getting screwed and blew up everything. And man, were we laughing hard. Josh wasn't, but my point being, you have to have fun, okay? And with all these dick players ruining it for everyone, it's not cool. We, we got to get back to just having fun with CCGs. Everyone's got to have a good time, make some new friends, have some laughs. Sure, be competitive. No one's saying to not be competitive. I'm as competitive as the next guy, even more so. But if I can somehow play around or even go to a tournament and get my ass kicked, if I laugh a few times while doing so and make a friend, it makes it all worth it. Winning's not everything, especially when it comes to CCGs. That's all for today. Thank you for listening to my show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, spray paint some graffiti on the wall, throw a Molotov cocktail at something that says JGR written on the bottle. Actually, don't do that. That's illegal. But, you know, just remember to always have fun. And, of course, game on.